Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to smuggle liquor onto a cruise ship. The first and probably the most simple way of smuggling alcohol onto a cruise ship would be to use one of these. Makeup. There we go. It's not a sunscreen lotion container. Uh, I got this off of Amazon for $10. It's just an empty bottle. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing in it. It's an eight ounce container that comes with a funnel and you can put your liquor in here. I think the last cruise I put Jägermeister in here. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's a little steep, like for $10 for this. I mean, why wouldn't you just go to Walmart, get a, a cheap little $3 bottle that looks just like this and empty the sunscreen out, you know? I'll tell you why. Your alcohol is gonna taste like sunscreen. There's probably chemicals in there. And I know you're, you're putting liquor in here, but it's not a good idea. I'd get one of these. Yeah, I wouldn't use regular sunscreen bottles. Don't be cheap. You could die. This is pretty nice. Check it out, Amazon, $9. This is number one. Now on to process number two of smuggling hard liquor onto a cruise ship. Unfortunately, I don't have these in my hand because I think I threw them away because what do I need them for? But they're called black label flasks or black label bags. You can find them on Amazon for $9 and you get, I think, three different sizes. There could be a better deal, but the one I did was three different sizes. You got a 32 ounce, a 16 ounce, and an eight ounce. And they're just basically these thick plastic bags with a plastic cap that come with a, a funnel so that you can actually fill them up. and it, they work completely fine. They're undetectable by metal detectors because they're plastic. What I did was I just took these bags, filled them up, and then I put them in a pair of jeans in like the pant leg, rolled them up, and then stuck those jeans in the middle of my suitcase just in case you know they're, they're throwing my bag around or whatever. It's not going to explode because that would be the worst to be on vacation. You got yourself some weird blue liquor for some reason and now all your clothes are blue that would be trash stick it in the center it'll be completely fine I did it I got proof and now for the third and final way to smuggle hard liquor onto a cruise ship wine bottle now if you looked at your instructions and info packet paper you get when you book your cruise a lot of the cruise ships, especially Royal Caribbean and Carnival, they, they allow one bottle of wine per passenger. But little do they know, there's no wine in this bottle. There's a lot of videos on how to do this, but uh, they're probably not as good as my video. I'm just saying, make sure you watch mine. This is great. I'm happy you're here. I'm going to show you exactly how to get the cork out without breaking it, without a problem, without making this a mess. So let's get into everything that we need to get this little craft done. First thing you're gonna need is one of these here bags, just a regular shopping bag. Next thing, obviously your hard liquor that you're gonna be smuggling into, your wine. Next up, any kind of screwdriver, I'm using this little Phillips head. You're gonna need a dime, okay? Nothing else works, get a dime. Um, this is the most important thing. This is the little cap that goes on top of the wine. You see this right here? Whoa, shrink wrap wine thing. I got these off of Amazon. They were, uh, I think, $4 for 30 of them. So uh, you got, I got a million of these now. Well, actually, I have 30 of them. Uh, you're gonna need a hammer and you're gonna need a blow dryer for the shrink wrap on top of it. All right, I would personally go with a red wine. It doesn't matter if you like red wine or not. You're not bringing it, but it's normally in this really dark bottle. And if you're putting literally anything in here, it's not gonna be, uh, it's not gonna be sketchy. No one's gonna question why there's, why is there whiskey in this bottle? You can't tell, it's too dark, can't tell. It's just a dark container. So we're gonna be filling this bottle up with this bottle, which is Captain Morgan, 100 proof. I figured, uh, you know, it's a cruise. We're gonna throw a little rum and 100 proof rum. May as well use 100 proof, cause, cause why not? You know what I'm saying? All right, we just gotta take the old cap off here. Oh, this should go without being said, but make sure it's a bottle with a cork. Don't get a twist off, you fools. Take the whole little little shrink wrap thing off it's not important now this is the part where it's don't go fast take as much time as you need because the last thing you want is red wine everywhere because you shattered the bottle 
So we're gonna take our Phillips head screwdriver or flathead, it doesn't really matter. I would take a Phillips head though, um, because you know that's what I'm using. You're gonna take the dime and your hammer. You're gonna put the dime right on the cork there. Oh man, and keep it just real steady. Phillips head and just tap it. Tap it. Just tap it in. And it, it honestly goes down pretty easy. And make sure you're paying attention because the last thing you want is red wine to drip down this white label. Okay? Just, just little tips. Throwing them out there. I'm throwing them out there. Woo! I fucked up. It went everywhere. It's completely fine. Let's get paper towel. I actually saw a video um, of this same thing and a guy put a plastic bag around it just in case. Me, I don't care. Like, you can't. Like, come on. Focus on it. Can you tell? Like, it's there, but can't. It. They're not gonna know. Okay, step one is done. The cork is down inside the bottle. Now we're gonna dump this out into something else because we're gonna drink it. Don't you dare dump it down the sink, you fool. This is completely fine. This is good wine, maybe. I don't know, I've never had it before. I believe it's good wine. Not wasting wine on my day. Come on, you bitch. Hey. Now this is the trickiest part of the entire thing. It's going to be getting this cork out. Now you don't have to do it this way. You could use a corkscrew and put a hole in it, but you're gonna need to put like super glue or hot glue or something to cover that hole up because it will 100% leak everywhere. We messed up, it did that, and I lost like, probably like a shot of liquor on the way up. So just be aware of that. This is the smoothest way without buying more corks and trying to fit them in there. Just, just give it some old elbow grease. This is the way. All right, you're gonna take your plastic bag and you're gonna make it into a little Play-Doh snake. You know what I'm saying? Get it nice and long. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying right now. Go ahead and shove this down into the bottle. And I would shove it down as far as you can because you're gonna need the length of the bag. Okay, now once you got it down in there, and you got a good hole because you're gonna blow into the bag, go ahead and look at this, okay? I'm gonna get, let me see if I can do this so you can see it. Okay, you're gonna get the cork right before the neck, right before it reaches the neck, and you want the cork to be long ways, okay? Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna blow into this bag, it's gonna fill up, and then when you pull it out, it's gonna catch so the the, the higher up it catches the cork, the better chance you have to pull it out for a shot. So we're gonna try it right now. All right, that should be good, okay? You can tell it's blown up in the bottle. All right, now we're gonna take it so that the hole is still open when you're pulling this so it lets the air out. Hopefully this works for first try so I don't look like a fool. Oh. All right, let's see. If you can see, oh my God, makeup hands. You can see it's caught on the bag. I hope I don't rip the bag. Hey, first try, boy. And there it is. It was actually a lot easier than I thought. Bam, so now, we got our cork, everything's good. You can go ahead and rinse this bottle out so you get all the wine, and then we fill it back up and I'll show you what to do next. All right, if you're as ill-prepared as I am and you don't have a funnel, you can just make one out of a bottle. Not the normal way where you just twist the top off and then cut the end, it doesn't fit. So you'll have to do just a little bit extra cutting. So cut off this tip, all right. Cool, now it's even bigger. Stupid, but then you're just gonna cut down it like so, maybe halfway, and then you'll be able to make it even smaller. And then would you just look at it? Small enough hole, but we also have to cut this off too, so let's do that. 
easy. Now you got yourself your sick trash. Get out of here. You got a sick funnel. This sticker down in there. Move that. Look at that. Easy. All right, well that didn't work. So I'm gonna take this uh, cutting board this time that folds and I'm gonna try and do the exact same thing because the water bottle didn't exactly work the way I wanted it to, so don't do that. All right, I think this will work. A good way to avoid all of this struggle is to not be cheap and go get a funnel. Borrow a funnel, I don't know. We're gonna see if this works this time. Success! Dang! Look at that. Good to go. Hey, I only spilled a little bit, but I actually did spill it onto this uh, wrapper, but what I did was I just took an air dryer, or hair dryer, and uh, it just comes right off, so. Just in case you're a fool like me and you mess up, and you get it all over the paper, you're good to go. Now, we close the bottle. Just gonna lightly And take the exact same thing that you did last time. If I could find my dime. Luckily I'm rich as hell and I had another dime just lying around. So we're basically gonna do the exact same thing. I'm just gonna put that right onto the cork. Put your screwdriver and just tap her on in. You just wanna get it right to the end. Look at that. Look at it. Like it never happened. So good. All right, we're not done. Now for your little shrink wrap doohickey. All okay, right, look at this. It's not the same color, but there it doesn't it doesn't matter at all. Come on. So you're going to take your pink hair dryer and you're just going to spin the bottle around until this little doohickey is shrink wrapped on it. It only takes a couple seconds. That's a lie, it's gonna take a couple minutes. We're gonna speed this up though. And there it is, that actually only took two minutes and 30 seconds to uh, shrink wrap on. And bam, like it never happened. No one would know anything. They're not gonna look at this. Now, if you feel real sketchy, because obviously you could tell this is not red wine. If you do feel sketchy, you can put like a couple of drops of uh, food dye in here to mask it, but believe me, it does not matter. But look how sharp that is though. God, Malbec, so sick. And that's it, easy peasy. Just make sure that you keep this out in the open. The more open you are with things, the less likely you will be picked up as being sketchy. So keep it in your purse, keep the, the top of it out, you know, keep it right in your book bag, right in the little, little drink pocket. Let them know, it's just wine, you guys, chill out. It's completely fine. And to be completely honest in all the times that we've done this, which has only been a few times, so don't just you know take my word with a grain of salt, they don't search for alcohol that hard. Unless you have like cans or like this has obviously been open and you've been drinking it or you have an actual bottle of liquor. They're, they're really, they don't care. They didn't even look at it last time. So I was kind of offended because we worked really hard on this. But they, they see it and they just, no, go, go, doesn't matter. We don't care. We're looking for weapons and dangerous stuff. We don't care if you have a bottle of rum, you fool. Yeah, that's it. That's the tips. Ooh, one more. I remember, when you're in your room and you have these or you have the flasks or you have your alcohol, make sure when you leave your room, hide it. Put it like back in your suitcase or something because 
Um, I've heard of people actually getting caught with it from their room steward, like they take it from you. That sucks. I mean, nothing's really gonna happen to you. Even if they catch you at the, the gate with this, they're just gonna take it from you and give it back at the end of your cruise. So you know, it's not like they're gonna kick you off the cruise ship because you tried to sneak some rum in. But thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, see you in the next video.